Hey there, friends. Today I am back. And as most of you know already, the big news, we are selling our home. And we have some projects that we have not tackled yet on our to-do list that we need to go ahead and get done before we list our house. So that is what we are tackling today. Hey there, my name is Yami. I am your Latina next door. Welcome back to Mi Casa, where I share high-end home decor and DIYs on a budget, as well as extreme before and after room transformations. If that's something you enjoy, please make sure to hit like and stick around by subscribing so that you too can become part of the familia. Before I start, I do want to say that today I have a sponsor for this video, and that is Mixed Tiles. I will be sharing more about them and their easy to apply picture frames for your home in just a few minutes. So again, a lot of you know that we just purchased land to create our very own homestead, and I will be sharing more videos on that and everything it's going to take to do so in the upcoming months. However, before we sell this house, we have to get a few things ready that we just kind of haven't done yet. One is upstairs, the hallway upstairs. We've never really done anything to it except replace the carpet ever since we moved in. As you can see, it's a pretty long, dark hallway with not much going on. Now we definitely want to brighten this space and make it feel a little bit more lighter. Even though there isn't any windows or any natural light that comes through it, we definitely want to make this space look a little bit more inviting for when we list our home. Another area that we need to go ahead and refresh is the stairwell. We redid the landing upstairs for our homeschool room. However, we never really finished painting the stairway area because honestly, life got pretty busy. <laughs> but this definitely needed to be done because the walls were painted all the way through. So we're gonna be tackling these two areas today, giving it a fresh coat of paint and staging it, if you will, for a nice open feel so that it won't feel so cramped and overwhelmed when we list it for potential buyers. Looking at the stairs a little closer, there was some missing molding. Whenever we replaced the carpet, some of them kind of popped off and we just kind of left them as is until we had the time to fix it. And then above the doorway down the stairs, we needed to refinish that area and also give it a new coat of paint. And then the upstairs next to the kids' homeschool room was pretty messy. My computer where I do my editing was right there and we've been working on other things in the house and it kind of got overwhelmed up there, especially down the hallway where we were working on my bathroom makeover that I just shared with you all. So we just needed to kind of get in there and clean everything up, organize, put things away and just kind of start setting the stage for staging the home in order to sell it. So I got to work right away and just began putting things up, throwing things out and organizing a little bit before we got started on the space. After I was done putting things away, I wanted to make sure that all the surfaces that we were going to paint and all the areas were nice and clean. So I began vacuuming all the vents and all the corners and nooks and crevices of the area down close by the carpet and making sure that all of the molding and all of the trim was nice and wiped down so that it would be ready for paint. Now Nelson really quick repaired a couple of those areas that were missing with some poplar boards. This was an inexpensive fix. He cut them down to size and he glued them and cocked them so that they would look like the original molding that was already there. Then we took out the light fixture that was in the stairway. It was pretty old and not very nice looking. I had actually bought a light fixture for this when we first moved in and we never replaced it. So even though it's not exactly our style anymore, it's still going up. We also had a little bit of areas to touch up on the walls before painting and Nelson made sure to speckle those as well. And then the last thing we did was remove all of the covers to all the light fixtures, as well as all of the outlets so that we had a nice flat, even surface to paint. Now, before we go any further, I'd like to talk about today's sponsor, Mixed Tiles. 
they provide frames of your amazing photos and memories of your family. And these frames require absolutely no nail holes whatsoever. It's funny, my husband was a little skeptical at first, but then he saw that I did not need to ask him for any help. He did not need to put any nails on the wall and I did everything all by myself. So he was completely sold on this. And you can upload your photos from your computer or your phone Using your phone is really simple. You can either use the app or like I'm doing right here, I am going straight to the website on my phone. Simply add your name and your email address and you can even set up to get exclusive deals sent right to your phone. Once you're done with that, you are ready to add your photos. Simply select the plus button you can download from your phone, your Facebook, or your Instagram images. Next, you want to select the images that you want to frame, and then select the style of frame that you wish to use for your photos. Once you're done, you select checkout and you're all set. You order and it gets shipped to you right away. And it comes in this beautiful organized box and they're all set out for you really nicely. All you have to do is lift them up and it's really easy again to apply. All you gotta do is peel the tape from the back and with the help of a little level, that was it, that's all I needed to do. And if at any point I needed to adjust, all I had to do was pull it off the wall and readjust it. And I thought there was two places that I can put some of these. One was going up my stairway because I had two empty walls on either side and I thought it would be really nice to look at photos as we're coming up the stairs. And then down the really long hall in order to break up that wall of just basically nothing. It was just all wall. And I decided to do two groupings and both were super easy, super quick. And I'm excited because once we sell the house, all I have to do is pull them off, put them back in their little box that they came in and take them to my next place. And as you see here, if you do need to remove them, adjust, or because you're moving, it leaves no residue and no damage on your wall which these are also a great alternative for renters because you can personalize your space without having to worry about making any holes or damaging the wall. And then when you're done and need to move, all you gotta do is pull them off and take them with you again. I absolutely love how convenient these are, how easy these were to install and how great they look. I decided to do the frame with the nice white border and I think it gives it a nice, fresh, clean look. Now, Mixtal is offering 25% off the purchase of $50 or more mixed tiles for anyone using my coupon code LATINA25. Simply use that code at checkout, or you can also use the QR code that you see on your screen right now in order to take advantage of that 25% off. And these tiles are super inexpensive to begin with. They're only $11 for your frame and picture already done, ready to go, and ready to stick on your wall. Making this super easy, I cannot wait. To get more. So if you are looking to personalize your space, add some fun memories to your walls, I definitely recommend mixed tiles. Okay, so now it's back to painting. I always start with the cutting of the room and doing all of the edges and all of the corners. This is actually above in the stairwell area and the color that I'm using here is Shiplap by Magnolia. I love this color, it's throughout my entire first floor and it's a beautiful light color that is still neutral but it's not completely white and it's not gray either. I don't even know how to explain it but I love it. It's super nice and bright and I think we're gonna use this for our new home as well in all of the main living areas. But as you can see, it's a huge difference from what is already on the walls at this point. And there was quite a bit of painting for us. That wall along the stairwell was a two-story wall. There was a lot of edges, a lot of trimming to do. And of course, it was my husband and I tag teaming. I was cutting and he was rolling. And do you see that little area above where Nelson's rolling that still has not been cut in? 
well, we can reach it with our ladders. So I came up with this little nifty solution of taping my brush to a stick and then going for it. And it totally worked. I was so proud of myself. I was able to get up in there and get the edges done. Of course, it takes a little bit of patience and you get a really good arm workout, but it does work out. And I was so excited because we didn't have to do anything crazy <laughs> over the stairway. Then of course it was down that long hallway and I would cut while Nelson rolled. And again, we did two coats down this hallway as well. After all the walls were done, I came in with my favorite trim paint and I painted all of the trim. And this just made the stairs look so much better, look nice and fresh and clean. And I was just so excited that I was able to go ahead and get this completed because it really did make a huge difference. The next thing we did was add the new light fixture to the stairway area. Again, this light fixture I bought when we first moved in here and I was into more of a farmhouse look and I really love this fixture, but then we never put it up. And so it's not exactly my style right now, but it's brand new. It's better than what it was. So that's why it went up. At this point, I had done so much painting, I was actually excited to be vacuuming and doing something different at this point. But of course, I am just getting it nice and clean and ready to put a little bit of furniture in here. Not too much, obviously, but it does need something because it's just a long hallway. I had this Ikea dresser that we've had in this room to the left of the hallway and honestly it's not doing much in there and I want to convert that into an office. I want to take the desk that's right next to the homeschool room and move it in there and have that as a designated office space whenever I stage the house and obviously I will be able to use it as an office while we are still here. So we took the IKEA dresser to the hallway and moved the desk into this room. And for the rest of the space, I kept things pretty simple. I pulled this table that I had in one of my closets, as well as some of these antique books that my husband bought for me as a gift, and placed them next to a sitting chair close to the homeschool area. I took a couple of vases, and these were some of my original Look For Less dupes, and placed it on top of the dresser just to have something there, but I kept everything really simple. Everything just looks so much nicer and brighter up in this space. The fresh coat of paint really made a difference. And I decided to add this little seating area right here. I had this chair in the office where I put my desk in and I pulled it out along with a little side table. That way I can at least have a little seating area or reading nook. And I can also read to the kids from there during our homeschool lessons. The rest of the homeschool space will remain the same, but by adding that little seating area right there gives buyers an option of what they can do with the space. And it also allows them to see how big it really is up there and that you can actually have a more than one designated area and that there's many options for this area upstairs.
And I love how new and fresh and bright the stairway looks now. And it may seem that fixing a little trim and adding a little paint here or there sometimes might seem very trivial, but sometimes it really can have a huge impact. I'd love to know what you guys think of how these spaces turned out. Well, that is it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, let me know by giving this video a like and let me know what you guys think of the space and how it all turned out nice and staged. We still have a few more spaces to go before we list the house and I am gonna be sharing what we're doing in each one of them right here on the channel in the next couple of weeks. I do think by keeping the area upstairs nice and simple and just open, we'll give people the option to kind of visualize all the different things that the space can be and it makes it feel much larger having less things throughout and obviously a new coat of paint does help brighten the space and make everything feel like it's brand new thank you so much to mixed tiles for partnering with me on this video don't forget to use that coupon code if you wish to buy any mixed tiles that's again latina 25 or 25 percent off your purchase of 50 dollars or more I will see you all next week with the Look for Lust Challenge. Don't forget that is coming up Wednesday the 25th. And I will leave you all with a few more videos right here that you can enjoy in the meantime. Until then, adios.